here we have it, Stellar Made OS, my latest addition to my setup here. Uh, so I had the Raspberry Pi 4 with, uh, just, uh, I think I used to have Ubuntu Mint, but then I went to um, Raspberry Pi OS because it was just, it worked a little bit better for some reason. And I had KStars, Ecos, I had PSD2, uh, I had Arduino for <coughs> development and uh, uh, those kind of things, but it worked fine, yeah, but it was just I had a problem to get the latest and greatest version of PSD2 and etc. So, uh, and I could not get the uh, Polemaster app to work on my Raspberry Pi. So, uh, a follower on YouTube or Facebook, etc., uh, suggested that Stella Mate OS, uh, that worked fine with the Polemaster. Yeah, so, because I was complaining about having to drag my laptop out uh, to set it up. Uh, so I decided to check it out and it was about 40 some 50 ish uh, euros for the software alone. But I decided to just test it. So I did and here it is. <clears throat> and uh, it's pretty much uh, a Raspberry Pi OS. Yeah, with just all the uh, uh, Little bits installed like KStars with Ecos, uh, PSD2, PSD2 Logger, and Paul Master. Yes. <clears throat> and I also then installed like Arduino for, for some of my own lucid mount development. Uh, so, yeah, we can start this up. Yeah, here it is. Uh, I just did a little setup for it. So, here we have our, my mount. I have uh, uh, the filter wheel, guide camera, and main imaging camera. And I can't actually use uh, the mount control here. I can also use uh, Stellarmate's app to control the mount. Uh, that didn't work really seamlessly for me. Uh, maybe I need to work with it and set it up properly, but um, I just have my own like browser app for it to control the mount, like the uh, slewing and, and finding. And I've just been using that because it's been uh, Working better, yeah. Uh, so, but but it, but it works this, and it also works in the app. Uh, since I sit and work from here anyway, I don't really use the app. Uh, but it does usually. I just because uh, to avoid any uh, to reduce the the working load of the mount, uh, I have gotten the practice to disconnect the K Stars connection to the mount, and I'm just using. K stars for <clears throat> for uh, imaging uh, control scheduling, and then I have of course the computer runs the guiding. Yeah. You no, know, so that's it. We're gonna test this out tonight. Uh, gonna start by testing it out on the Orion Nebula. Yeah. So uh, here it is, as it will be at like quarter to eight uh, in the evening, and that is just when it passes the meridian, pretty much. And just off the meridian here, I have my garage roof. I should have made a like in uh, my own horizon in Stellarium here. But anyway, I've got my garage roof here that it will just come across over, I think. And then I have a tree here, uh, which it will cut through. And then there is like a stable roof that it will come in under quite soon. So it's it doesn't take I can't do it for too long. It's the wrong time of year. I need to do this like uh midwinter. But it has been such a crap winter that you know, what can you do? I just want to get some in there. Uh then I might just go a little bit further up. I have been looking at where is that time? I've been looking at the jellyfish nebula for some time. I've been actually I've been failing it a couple of times. So I just want to get uh, just test shoot it a little bit and then to uh, finalize the evening I might go and do something at the completely opposite side of the horizon somewhere around here since that is coming up uh, sometime after midnight and uh, I might be able to add some some roofs and some trees and stuff here as well so by just an hour or two after midnight I should clear it and I should be able to to pick something up there, yeah, to finish it off the rest of the evening. Yeah. So we'll see how it works, yeah.
Let's go. Right, so, good morning. Yes, <coughs> Bant is excited. Ducks are excited. I'm excited. We had a very nice evening. Uh, it was, uh, well, <coughs> day before uh, yesterday, it was... Uh, it was very stormy, so we had like the wake after the storm last night. It was clear, it was uh, calm, and there was no moon. Uh, no moon, new moon, yeah. It was like all the things just lining up, so we had a nice evening. I started out on, on uh, M42, and uh, it was... Um, uh, yeah, it, I just have a lot, quite a short um, time on it because uh, <clears throat> I have to start right off the sunset uh, uh, for it to uh, when it just clears the, the trees there, and then I have it until like it just cuts the, that tree top and then sets. So <clears throat> it's not a very um, good position to do that. Uh, so it's like a multi-night operation. Uh, and then uh, I went on the Jellyfish Nebula, I see 443. Oh right, so we are uh, imaging the Jellyfish Nebula. Yes, and it's the premiere time for the latest uh, piece of equipment, or software rather, and it's StellaMate OS that I've installed on my Raspberry Pi 4. So I'm running that instead of Raspberry Pi um, with all the K stars and ECOS and, and um, PhD2 and all that. So it's basically exactly the same thing. It's just that it come pre installed and updated for, for this. And with, that is actually really nice. And it also has um, uh, Paul Master um, uh, installed and it works fine. Uh, PhD2 is an updated version that lets me do the uh, multiple star guiding, which I guess it's really awesome because the guiding is really great or it's just the timing today that is nice it's not completely wind free so but still guiding is great yeah I'm happy uh, so here's the um, yeah, oh, first image of green here can't see shit in this but yeah the jellyfish is supposed to be here somewhere yeah uh, so we'll, we'll see here yeah uh, it comes to this uh, so my first uh, experience here of the Stella Mate is that it's awesome. Yeah, it's great. I'll be using this uh, for now. Brilliant. Yeah. Uh, until that set behind the building there, <coughs> I got like maybe an hour or two at the most. And by that time, Cygnus was rising above the tree, the house. Uh, the roof there, and I could do the Crescent Nebula for some time. I have no idea how that went, because uh, I went to bed, but uh, it started out okay. Yeah, well, I'm going to do some flats here now, get the stuff inside. Yeah. 